Hello everyone, this is a uh, Mad Cat Sphere here. <clears throat> I just wanted to just to, uh, upload a quick video to give uh, like an update on what's going on and stuff. And 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 um, the main thing is is that um, there's gonna be a change with. Uh, I have to use a different camera because um, I have some problems with my other cell phone. But um, the main thing is that um, there's not gonna be no more um, monet monetization on my channel. So there's not going to be no more commercials on the new videos. Um, I, I, I wanted to remove the monetization on the other older channels, but I have to go through them. What it seems like I have to go through them list by one by one to demonetize them. So if you guys know how to collectively do it all at once, you guys can help me. Uh, that, that'll help out a lot because um, I just want my channel to be uh, just just um, pure. And just give information and not have it be about money and have it be more about positivity and, and helping. Because as long as I help you guys out, that's what matters the most, you know. Um, and um, yeah, that, that, that that's about it. Um, my channel is demonetized. No more money. I did get paid only $105 like a few months ago. But it takes a long time to build it up. And I, I decided I didn't care about it. I got it from Trevor Seven. Um, he said he uh, when we're doing Skype, he said that he doesn't have it monetized, and that kind of he said some things that kind of woke me up, and I decided to do it too. Uh, the other thing is that um, <clears throat> wanted to talk about is um, uh, want to talk about um, in psychokinetics, uh, psychokinesis is that um, you know uh, one one thing that I've come to to realize about psychokinesis is that it's very similar to to any skill that you develop. Like learning psychokinesis um, is different from learning sports and everything else. Um, uh, essentially, it's very dynamically different. But what I've come to realize is that there are some similarities to to each other, and that is that that um, you have to be you have to apply yourself, and you have to give a, a certain form of enthusiasm. Um, to what you're doing. Um, this is something that pretty much unraveled and pretty much um, I think everybody kind of knew but didn't really um, understand the the philosophy that they're both very similar to each other and that, uh, you know, um, a lot of people that try to get into sports like boxing or basketball, um, they just are not athletic or they just can't do well and um, they, uh, they, they don't um, excel at it. And it's the same thing with psychokinesis that if you're not involved, emotionally involved, and invested in it, you're not going to excel. You have to apply a certain enthusiasm and a certain a mental strength into doing it. But with psychokinesis, it's very problematic and very particular because physicality is a little bit more easier for us to grasp because we're physical walking around all the time. So that's why sports is a little bit more uh, bigger and known. But they're both similar to each other in that... Um, you do have to apply yourself and be involved in what you do. You have to care about what you're doing to 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 progress. You can't be um, you can't be lazy about it. You have to be involved in it, and um, it it requires a certain form of uh, focus, a certain form. Um, they, they they both require you to be focused, um, to be uh, uh, steadily in, involved emotionally, to be emotionally invested, and to um, be centered in yourself. That's the thing, to be centered. You know, to be a fighter, to be a boxer, to be an MMA fighter, to be a basketball player, football, you have to be self-centered. You have to be, you have to be very um, in tune with you, mentally and emotionally and physically. And psychonesis is exactly the same way. You have to be uh, invested, but you have to also be centered and calm in, in, in how you pursue um, like for instance, like like with uh, um, um, gymnastics, you have to have a lot of balance. You have to have enthusiasm, but you have to also be very calm and you have to be very aware of what is required. And you have to be disciplined. And psychonesis and sports and everything else are both the same. I never realized it, but it just kind of unraveled that they're both exactly the same essential thing to master at it. You you there has to be a certain discipline, a certain level of discipline, and a certain level of of, of understanding and patience. And a need to progress at it, you know. Um, some people have more talent, are born with talent, and others develop their their ability. It's not so much talent, but they're just obsessed in their ability. And um, they're both exactly the same way in that manner that you have to be um, 
very uh, devoted and, and dedicated to be um, to be involved emotionally and physically, to be centered, and to be disciplined in what how people teach you the skills needed to develop the skills, to understand, to comprehend what is needed. And they're both essentially the same. And psychonesis and sports, like I never really realized the connection, but they're both exactly the same because they they need they, they both require the same things. Self-centered, being involved, loving what you do, to be self-disciplined in the skills needed and, and the skills needed to be developed, the comprehension, understanding, learning, being patient, learning and letting people teach you and being patient and observing not to rush. Sports, you just can't go in like boxing or fighting. You just can't rush in, into a ring and think you could be like Mayweather or Mike Tyson. You know, a psychonesis, you just can't get a can and just put it on the table and expect it to roll or, or, or to slide an upright cup. You have to be, you have to maintain a certain discipline and understanding and a certain um, enthusiasm. And you have to be very patient and centered with yourself. And it takes time to progress. They're both exactly the same. And that's, and that, but psychonesis is a little bit more particular because it's a little bit new and it's a little bit uh, strange and different. But it's, they're essentially the same. But uh, uh, to, just to end the video, um, <clears throat> The, 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 the thing is, though, is that psychonesis is actually more easier for us to do. Psychonesis, essentially, is, um, is you have more higher chance of rolling a can or spinning a side wheel or doing hydro, uh, hydrokinesis or pyro or, um, or like, you know, or like or, or electro or anything else like that. You have more higher chance or arrow than becoming a famous movie star. You have a more higher chance of doing psychonesis than becoming a famous athlete, than becoming a, an, 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 a, 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 an entrepreneur and money or business or whatever. Because, like, I mean, like, I've seen a, a man that's overweight, a Chinese man that slid, slides a plastic ball. You guys seen that? I mean, you, 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 it, it, psychonesis doesn't require you to be a freaking athlete. I'm just a normal guy, and I was able to do these things. A normal person, I was able to do it. So what that says is that you can create magic and you don't have to overexert yourself because these, 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 these other things, they require too much out of you. You have to go and you have to engage and socialize and you have to, you know, uh, pull some strings and you have to train and physical. You have to, you know, uh, break your back and break your neck exercising for being an athlete and basketball player and MMA fighter. But psychonese is just relaxing. Just sit home, relax, be patient. And you could do incredible magical things at home, you know? Like sliding up right cup is more revolutionary and awesome than being an enemy fire a boxer. You know, um, learning to uh, burn a paper with your pyrokinesis is much more fantastic and freaking awesome than, than, than winning a million dollars. You know, that for me, spinning a side wheel was the equivalent to winning a million dollars when I first started out. So you have more higher chances of doing magical powers and developing psychonesis than you are becoming a famous celebrity. And that's more better, you know. I mean, you're, you're magical, so that's that 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 all pays off, man. So just think about it. The sports and the psychonism is both the same, and that you're more higher chance to to develop your abilities. No matter you 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 could be old, broken body, and you could be sick, kind of. You could be fat. You could be thin. You could be young, a child. You could still do it, and you could do it. You have more higher chance to do it than becoming a celebrity or famous, you know, like Bill Gates or winning money or something like that. And plus, it's better, more positive. So this is Matt Cat's fear. Just want to give that to you guys. Take care. God bless.